Thank you very much. It is relatively uh, very much classified on like uh, type of lecture because it's related to my research for most like, like more than 40 years of my research. Almost 45, I started my research journey in 1975. So it will be more than 45 years. So, so the title is Bioactive Compound from the Antiphytic Fungi and Medicinal Plants of Bangladesh. And then just giving a brief why we're doing this sort of research. Good number of drugs derived from medicinal plants are available in Good number of screen Actually, a good number of drugs derived from medicinal plants are available in the world market. Bangladesh, being a subtropical country, is a good repository of medicinal plants. There are around 5,000 agnus forms distributed among 200 families. Approximately 500 of these are being used in the traditional medicines for the treatment of different types of diseases. So while we're doing research, uh, in, in the first slide, I tried to show the importance of working on this, but specifically our team are working to find lead compounds from that drug discovery research to standardize phytomedicines, yunani, ayurvedic, etc., by searching for chemical markets, markers, sorry, markers, justify the use of phytomedicine by the, by the presence of drug-like molecules to identify plants by chemotoxonomic studies. And as you know that uh, it is uh, uh, in present, present world, uh, among the drugs used, almost 60% originally uh, came from uh, plants and then modified and synthesized. This is a way of doing research on this. We call this drug discovery. So our research is also to find out lead compound, the starting compound from which we can go further of synthesizing the compound, then looking for the biological activities and clinical trial, et cetera, et cetera. And this is the target. And standardized phytomedicines, as you know, there are a lot of Ayurvedic medicines are available in Bangladesh market. And it's very challenging to standardize, which is good, which is not. What are the uh, substances present there? It's very difficult. So in this case, uh, it is uh, this research helps a lot. And to justify the use of phytomedicines by the presence of drug like molecules is also interesting. For example, if you work on some plants, you find a compound uh, close to uh, what is called uh, cardiac glycosides, then you can predict that this plant may be used for this one. And uh, fourth one to identify the plant's chemotoxonomic study. This is more familiar with the people working in the botany. Sometimes chemistry helps to identify because in, uh, in botanical point of view, they identify mostly on the organoleptic. But in our case, you find out on the chemistry and chemistry sometimes tells which is the classification of the compound because some plants may contain only alkaloids, some plants contain steroids, some contain maybe better things like this. And the steps, uh, as you see, that isolation of compounds from plants and the phytic fungi for anti-tumor, anti-microbial, uh, anti-diabetic activities, structural solution of the pure compound. That is actually my main job, combined spectroscopy analysis and screening of extractive purified compounds for various biological activities, evolution of safety and efficacy of harbor drugs. And all this work actually is teamwork. I start, I was the involved in the work in all the study. I was one of them and with our team members, students and some colleagues at the end last slide I will show how mostly I was involved. The achievements, we started roughly 62. I cannot exactly say 62, but more than this. 62 medicinal plants of Bangladesh belonging to 30 plant families. Isolated and characterized over 250 compounds, including 75 new molecules. A major classes of isolated compounds are terpenoids, steroids, alkaloids, flavonoids, and chromatins. Some of the isolated compounds showed prominent antibacterial, antidiabetic, antioxidant, and cytotoxic activities. And this is the one uh, how we proceed. This is a very uh, simple to us, but people who are not familiar with this, uh, to them a bit. It's, it is a, uh, our work on phytochemical work. We start with plant material, go for different extraction of different uh, solvents, then 
we isolate the uh, from take the fractions the some the pure compound for the pure compounds we isolate the compounds by mostly chromatographic techniques vlc tlc sometimes hplc and once we get the pure compound then we go for the structure solution by different spectroscopic techniques mostly we using nowadays uh, nmr nmr and because uh, this is a, a most useful uh, technique to to determine the structure and uh, fortunately because i did my phd on natural products and i worked a lot on an nmr and i am very much uh, interested to work on the structure elucidation so so it helps me a lot this is my i also teach nmr so it's also very good for me but i teach i do research in the same field and this is the name of the compounds i'm showing very quickly going to different types of compounds you can see the compounds uh, this is uh, is a steroid compounds it is steroid need plus but this is a triterpenes and this is isolated from plant uh, from a corcoras capsularis this is uh, we call this is jute plant there are two types of jute this is bitter in taste that this is uh, here and then uh, there are we isolated uh, three uh, new compounds and we published in phytochemistry and also in, in uh, there you can see the papers up there in jmp and this one this is next compound is again from arthrobotis obtusimus and also compound another one another one isolated from desmos longiflorus i actually worked in my phd on the anonesia species of africa an african anonesia species and so when i came back after doing phd in 81 i started work on the different anonesis species and this is one of these arthrobotis odotosmus and desmos longiflorus isolated all this is triterpenes and of course i'm showing all the most of them are new compounds or novel compounds what you call and then ever ever strand jankery is and this again everia strand this is and also we this is a new compound to 21 hydroxy dinosterol and then again melico uh, indica this is in from rutasi i did my phd postdoc on rutasi species dr roshid uh with my colleague and he also worked on this for me and we published this compounds too so it is for new open type derivatives both of them and published in uh, pharmacy zenamura ruhitoka is meliaceae family this is cisquiterpenes and two new compounds and you see uh, the structures a bit little uh, funny and published in phytochemistry then polyethyl longifolia anonesia again on this we can isolate this new compound of 16 beta hydroxy cola is called colavent series and uh, it is uh, also very much uncommon uh, still, uh, the, these are diterpenes and diterpenes is not very common but in bangladesh i found good number of diterpenes but uh, having this uh, uh, furan uh, side chain is a bit uh, uncommon and this is from polyolka simara again an msc and this is a very interesting compound this is a, a diterpene colavent series but it con consists of only 18 carbon this is very unusual because most of the diterpenes are c20 and some are c19 or called 19 car carbon because diterpenes always 20 and four and uh, isoprene units but this is exceptional work containing only 18 carbons only maybe a four or five uh, uh, diterpenes with 18 carbons are available or found or isolated in the whole world this is uh, cateva narvela is capridesi family this is not published yet this is again a new compound also a diterpene and this is scoporia dulcis again rutasi family we isolated this uh, compounds uh, three compounds 
and again these are data prints uh, with the Easter form and published in uh, phytochemistry letters. Then Beringtonia racemosa. This compounds two nitrapines, novel compounds isolated. Interestingly, the name were uh, given on the basis of the name of my wife, Nasima, and the Luna is the name of the Rashid's wife. We work together. You can see the name, Dr. Rashid. He's also present for the lecture. And so he suggested the name to put Nasima and or Luna, his wife's name, and both Nasima Luna, because they did a lot of contribution for taking a lot of pain to support us. So to make them memorable, we give the name Nasima Luna. And this published in General Natural Product for the top uh, ranking journal in the field of natural products. Then Tuna Ciliata, this is 12 hydroxy stigmastrol, uh, uh, which is again steroids, steroids and uh, having a uh, hydroxy group at 12 alpha positive. This is uncommon and published in pharmacy. Then Polygonum viscosum. This is uh, Polygonacy, and we published this in John Natural Product Letters. Again, this is Siskutapin. Siskutapin means 15 carbon. Then Kofia bengalensis, the Rubius family plant. And Kofia, as you know, Kofia Arabica is the one which is most common throughout the world. But this is one only available in Bangladesh. We call it Kofia bengalensis. We isolated this very interesting oxygenated uh, data pins and published natural product letters. Then Momodica coconensis, Cucubetesi, probably knows Peter, uh, uh, what we call this uh, talo, uh, the, the, the very bitter corolla. Uh, that is, this is a scientific name. We isolated a Columbine and uh, this is a diterpene and chondrolestrol, this is a steroid, uh, but it is a bit uncommon. Colombin is the first time reported from this plant and published in Plant America, both in Plant America. Then, uh, then, sorry, just, Then uh, area polyandel, aposinacy, and from this we isolated three new compounds. And as you see, all these compounds is known as uh, cardiac like steroid, cardiac steroid. Is, this skeleton is used as a cardiac uh, drug, some of these skeletons. So very common with this one, as I said before, if the compound is close to the drug, drug-like compound, then you can give more emphasis of doing further research. Then, sorry. Next, Thank you very much. So they're not much used to with this giving presentation, Zoom. So this is uh, you can see, as I said before, this cardinalized type of compound. These are all uh, steroidal compound. And then this is uh, Closena heptaphyla, Rutasi family, who isolated uh, three new compounds, Luna marine A, Luna marine B, and Luna marine C. Again, the name Luna comes from uh, Professor Roshi's wife. And we published two publications in Natural Product Letters and Pharmacy. Then this uh, Micromela minutum, this is from Utesi. This, uh, again, uh, coumarin type compounds having epoxy side chain. And we published this in Biochemical Systematics and Ecology. Then Conio Thalamus Siskiu Pedalis, again, Anonesi. You see the, uh, the left side one, so 
uh, again to pentosin and another five acetoxy iso iso polyethylamine oxide the Digan to pentose, this is the trivial name. This is this compounds, two or three compounds I showed before from these plants. And these are called acetogenic type of compound containing uh, either 27 carbon or 32 or 35. These are very unusual type of compounds only found in anonymous family. This, the, the group is known as acetogenic and good number of these compounds are reported to have anti-cancer or cytotoxic properties. We published this one, you can see, Bangladesh Journal, another one in phytochemistry. And then Milusa, Milusa, Pelucine, uh, and Onesi family, who has selected this uh, porphyrin clots, and new compounds, of course. Another one is isogonyethalamusin, we give it the name. This is the new component, and it's containing only 27. As I said before, most of the isogen is in 35, 37, like this. This is 27. 27 carbon containing acetogenins are very uncommon, uh, very rare. This may be only uh, uh, 10, 11 compounds of the series reported uh, all over the world. And then published one in Bachelor for Letters and one in Phytotherapy. The Moria Corengi Lutesi family, this is a dimeric compound. This is carbozulin alkaloids. Uh, we have given uh, bismirofolin. It is a trivial name we give sometimes when the names are very complicated. We give the trivial name uh, from the plant and published in phytotherapy. And this is again from Glasgowosis, uh, uh, from fam family. And this new, all three are new compounds. And this is what with the, our Japanese counterpart and published in journal Natural Products. And this one is uh, Xanthoxylum rhatsa, a rutaceous family. Um, and this we have isolated, you can see the some of the complicated structures, um, these two groups are coupled together. And we work here and publish the phytochemistry, both are uh, new compounds. And uh, we have given some trivial name. And sometimes we follow the name uh, of the series. For example, a similar in B, CD reported before, so we have given like this name. And then the xylem rex, so we have two, um, four to five compounds isolated the previous year, and these two compounds. And also you can see the complicated two chemistry, but from the NMR, we can find out sometimes this two chemistry can be uh, possible to establish. And this is uh, our compound. You can see the stospermum chelonites. This is a big nonacy family. And from this, we have isolated uh, this four new compounds. And these are uh, is true channel, uh, is true channel B, then is true ST, Quantal B, is true quinone C. And these are all. Uh, Anthraquinone and naphthaquinone derivatives. Now, anthraquinone, the first one, the other one is naphthaquinone. In, 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 this published in phytochemistry. And this is lost in uh, Alba. This, uh, again, you can see two anthraquinone dimeric compounds published in chemistry of natural compounds. Then you vary Hamiltonian and NSC family. These are uh, all uh, Kitoch's group, and, and, and these two were published in, uh, this is, you can see this C6, uh, C3, but organized different way, and we call this uh, keto, polyketoch type of compound. And then, you know, that this color is very, again, anonesi, we isolated, these are all uh, flavon type compounds, flavonoids is a large, uh, uh, group of compounds and all the coloring compounds as you know now that we're talking about the uh, what you call uh, the antioxidants most of the antioxidants are actually flavonoids all the colored food fruits or vegetables you take colored and mostly containing flavonoids anthocyanidins flavonoid -like compounds 
and we published these compounds in phytotherapy. And then uh, Delvergia uh, lenocionaria, you can see Fepensi family again. The geotron is a uh, with a, this uh, diterpene compounds and published in Oriental Farm Experimental Medicine. And this is under preparations. Please also you can see the uh, it's called flavonoids, but this is uh, not flavonol group. This is flavon group. And this is this Spain. We have isolated from. You can see the name of the plant. Things for a CRISPR. This pharmacy, and we have isolated five new compounds from this. We have given the trivial name is spin A, is spin B, is spin C, and is spin D. And we published this compound from a composite magazine. Then, so we, and this one is for a CRISPR, this is spin H. This all series compounds we have given like this trivial name, a like crispin A, B, C, D, and G, H, like this. And then this one, there is a scandence. And we isolated this uh, again. It's a cook flav isoflavone type compounds, three isoflavone compounds, and published in uh, phytochemistry. And also work with Japanese counterpart. Uh, you can see the Chiro Ito and Professor Roshid also. Most of the paper we published together with Professor Roshid and some with uh, Professor Munira. And then this is there is and more compounds isolated from this same plant and published in natural product research. Then the venous spectabilis, this is also Rutasi family. Rutasi is, uh, you know, the flavored little bell. It is also Rutasi and most, a lot of uh, flavoring uh, aromatic plants are from the Rutasi family. And this, we published this compound. This is in dollar colors. And these are published in phytochemistry. Then Bridelia stipularis, a very unusual compound, a small compound, but this reported first time in the world. There's no uh, compound like this reported. The only one appeared in the different structure. Maybe the, that was wrong structure. Our is, is relatively correct, we assume. And um, this is published in uh, Natural Chems to Natural Products. This is a compound isolated from, from endophytic fungi. You can see the very complete name. Uh, Pestalo tube seen, we given the name. And um, very complex structure, the structure established on the basis of only enema, not with, uh, it is under preparation uh, for uh, to be submitted soon for publications in general natural products. And Tiruspora CRISPR, again, Tispin F, Tispin C, both new compounds and published in general natural products. And then Tispin F and G, this is some of the activities inhibited state three diamondization in the cell free fluorescent polarization assay and was found to have significant toxicity against the state three dependent MBA, MB230 watt breast cancer cells line with the being negative in the state uh, three null F4 cell line with compound shell structure similar to the previously reported state three inhibitor PSPNE isolated from the same plane molecular document study such as the molecule inhibits a step three by interacting with the So this may be uh, having the intuitive properties. This work is commonly done with my student. He's now the professor of King's College, uh, Dr. Uh, Miraj Kondoga Miraj. He's become a full professor. So the biological park work is done in uh, King's College. And you can see this uh, compound. This is the uh, crispini and this published in organic and biomolecular chemistry and you can show us some of the pictures of male molecular docking how it works and then acacia aerocophilis from this uh, acacia oliformis and this again is statin a is statin b as in before this compound like you can see the complexity of the compound having uh, two three isoprenal um, side chains and this is uh, showing how it works and showing some model. And this, this uh, uh, result and these findings are published in you know, chemical communication is one of the top ranking journal uh, in pet factor more than six. In our line, this is one of the top, the highest rank JNP and chemical communication sector. Then Garuga Pineta, we isolated this heptanoid type of compounds. Again, uh, we have uh, seven compounds and here is 
four components, we put new component, we isolated four components, also published in phytochem stick. Uh, some of the intellectual activities of this compound showing a uh, company with canamycin, they will see the activities of these compounds. And then naptoquinin derivatives from endophytic fusarium, solani, and we isolated uh, three new compounds, nine desmethyl carbenin, seven desmethyl scopinone, nine desmethoxy, six methoxy scopinone. These are uh, new compounds are also found having uh, good in, uh, activities, cytoxivities and this published in general nature product. And you can see the comparison of this one of with this uh, with the cell line and comparing with the, with, with, with the cytotoxic essence. And these are showing the activity of this visa. Uh, this, you can see the structure. is a known compound. This compound is very complex. We isolated stable structure and MR only. Then they're showing the result of Fusor foliferin from endophytic fungi, and we published this result in molecules. The intellectual activity of some compounds that 100 microgram per disc, and this comparison uh, of showing activities with the uh, ampicillin, and these are the different types of um, these all are um, data prints. We work on this to compare with this uh, with antibiotic. And you can see more activities. Sometimes they show very good activities with 100 microgram per disc, and sometimes it will show any activities. And so, at last acknowledgement, I express my thanks to my partner, Professor Amda Burashi, Professor Munir Hassan, Dr. Saim Saurav, Dr. Kundukar Mirajur Rahman, and these are students of pharmacy faculty who are involved in this investigation. I thank you very much.